right? Blessings. It's me, Tess Whitehurst, and today I have a reading for you from my Magic of Flowers Oracle for today, which is March 15th, 2021, through this weekend. And this is the week of Ostara. Ostara is Saturday, unless you're in the Southern Hemisphere, in which case it's Mabin. Either way, the days and nights are roughly of equal length. And then it's a shift. So in the Southern Hemisphere, the days start getting more dark than light. And in the Northern Hemisphere, they start getting more light than dark. Both holidays, Sabbaths are portals. All Sabbaths are portals. So here's our reading for this week. For today, tomorrow, and the first part of Wednesday, we got Hyacinth, which is Irresistible Attraction. So for these couple of days, 2.5 days, think about relaxing and becoming more receptive. So this is an important aspect of the magical spiritual path, receiving in general. So with, you know, humans all, we all give and receive. But when we're becoming conscious of the dynamics of energy, we want to become conscious of the energy of receptivity and the energy of generosity. Because both are powerful and both have purposes, uh, energetically, spiritually, magically. So we're concentrating, we're being called to, directed to, guided to concentrate on becoming more receptive. So we can do that by relaxing, breathing consciously, remembering to come into the present moment and enjoy the blessings we already have. Like even something as simple as the way the light is shining or the scent of your lotion or the sound of the wind in the trees, just those brief moments. That's it. I mean, this is, this is what I feel like in the magical spiritual path, we often are goal oriented, which is good. It's not bad, but we have to remember like what we want to experience is beauty and magic and joy and presence. And that's all in the present moment. It's all right here, right now. So all the magic you've done in your life leading up to this point has been leading up to this one point where all the magic lives. So remembering to enjoy that, to soak that in, to receive gifts when they're offered to you with generosity, with, with graciousness, with gratitude, and to receive compliments, just to receive in general. So getting into that energy of receptivity, also enjoying the feeling of being in a physical body. All of that stuff helps open us up to receptivity so that we can receive blessings which all live right here right now okay then for the second part of Wednesday Thursday and Friday so second half of the week we have dandelion which is make a wish so once we have gotten into this more receptive state become more sensitized to the present moment and felt the beauty and the magic and the power of that then we are being guided to think kind of bigger than we have been. That's, it's not always, this is make a wish. It's not always that exact message, but for us this week, it is. It's like, remember, like maybe you're thinking, oh, I want to manifest more money or a new job or a relationship or something. So great, but maybe like, can you even take that a step further? Not just like, any old relationship or financial, you know, increased financial abundance, but like in a specific way that brings you joy and to remember the possibilities are there. So I guess it's like looking for limiting thinking and then being like, well, what if I expanded that? Or even kind of questioning, like if I could have anything, what would it be? If this could look any way, how would I want it to look? And maybe it's more of a feeling. That's generally what you want to get into magically is the feeling of it. It doesn't have to be all the specific little details of exactly how it looks, but like, 
opening up to like, I can have that. It can feel like that. It can feel that joyful and that fun and that expansive. So that kind of expansion for what you want to manifest and create and experience in the second half of the week. And then over the weekend, Saturday is Ostara. We have Daisy, which is Simplify. I like how there's not a lot of kids in the deck. So we got two of the, I think three or maybe four kids in the whole deck. So inner child energy for sure, which for Ostara, we can tune into fairies and flowers and playfulness. Um, but the simplification, so this is also the day Saturday when the sun moves into Aries and Aries is the baby of the zodiac, the child, the first, you know, it's like the first, the part, first part of the cycle of the zodiac. And so there's a youthful, fun, playful energy connected with Aries. And that's what we're being asked to tap into. So sometimes simplify is like clear your clutter. I mean, always clear your clutter if you feel like it. It's always a magical thing to do. But I feel like simplify for us this weekend is to simplify, you know, like enjoy simple pleasures, like laughter, like playfulness, like find reasons to laugh, find pleasure in the present moment, like look for it, like, oh, I'm gonna eat some chocolate, <laughs> you know, like the joy of it, like tap into the joy of pleasure and play and find that part of you that just like loves the simple, the simple joys in life for the weekend as you celebrate Ostara and as we move into airy season. So I want to mention also before you go that today there's a new podcast episode of my podcast, Magic Monday Podcast. And my co-host and I got to interview Judica Isles. So that's that was very exciting. It's She's the author of the Element Encyclopedia of 5,000 Spells and many other books. So you can find that when, wherever you listen to podcasts or you can go to magicmondaypodcast.com to find that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Have a beautiful, magical Ostara or Maven.